John Maynard Keynes, who developed a pretty flawed economic system, admittedly, did occasionally have something uh, worthwhile to say. Indeed, um, he's oft quoted as having said, uh, quote, when my information changes, I alter my conclusions. What do you do, sir? End quote. Uh, that might be a paraphrase, but in any event, uh, that's basically what he said. And I'm making this video as a general response to what appears to be a, a, a new uh, paroxysm uh, of uh, traditionalism or uh, various uh, people on YouTube making videos about traditionalism and uh, decrying, uh, well, men going their own way and what have you. And I'm going to primarily speak for myself, but uh, I think it's fair uh, to say that I, I probably could advocate for Barbarossa in this sense as well, if only because what I'm advocating here in this video is just what Keynes stated, is that when my information changes, I alter my conclusions. What do you do, sir? Now, there's a particular gentleman uh, among several who lamented the fact that uh, my videos of the past, or uh, maybe even Barbarossa's, and in, in some cases primarily mine, that their content had been slightly different, and uh, over time my content has changed. Well, uh, all I can say to that, sir, and, or people out in the world, is uh, people change. And indeed, I think it is the hallmark of a mature mind that upon receiving new information, extracted from the world, that you indeed change your mind. Uh, to stay in the same rigid ideological stance or uh, opinion or position without, uh, without even being willing to reassess uh, your situation or the situation in the world or the world as it presents itself, that is, um, that is highly immature. Not only is it immature, ultimately, ultimately it's a mark of zealotry. Uh, the the place where the scale tips from uh, ideology uh, to zealotry is uh, is not too far off when you consistently maintain the same view and you are impervious to new evidence. Now, mind you, if if we human beings, uh, if particularly in scientists, in particular scientists, if scientists were to maintain this view that. Uh, the world is in such a way that it cannot change, and in, in, uh, given science's perception was um, this is the way the world is, there would be no scientific progress. For many, many years, atoms were thought to be the smallest uh, particles out there, the smallest element of matter. No, now we know they're subatomic particles. We discover new information, we change our views, we move on, and we integrate that new information. You might be asking, how is, it, how is this all relevant? Well, of course, uh, a while back, a long time ago, I bought into this idea, uh, which I certainly no longer buy into, and I presented a great deal of information to counter the idea that's, that that is feasible, that it's not women in general, there is no general tendency, it's, it's Western women, and that one should uh, emigrate uh, to another country and... Uh, reap the fruits of, of, the, of the superior women there. But there's no evidence to suggest this. Uh, there, you know, I've, I've done numerous videos, and Barbarossa has done a few as well, documenting that women outside of the United States in very traditional, uh, very so-called patriarchal societies, <laughs> upon uh, entering a state of modernity, uh, economic prosperity, mechanization, they will divorce en masse just like uh, Western women do. In fact, if you look at a guy like uh, Wisdom Through Logic, whom I have nothing against, he fled to the Philippines. Now, there might be a reason why he did that. That's because divorce is illegal there. And he's gone on record. He stated this to me, that he would never take his wife uh, back to the United States for fear that she might you know, catch on to the system. The question is... All these, all these detractors, do they have counter-evidence? Is there, is there evidence to present against the case that the majority of women, on generalized principle, uh, say, initiate divorce uh, more often than men do? 
are there much more often than men do, in fact. Uh, is there counter evidence to suggest that hypergamy is is non-existent, or even that it, that it's simply not a problem and not an issue? Uh, you see, when I receive new information, I alter my conclusions. What do you do? Uh, it's per this is the hallmark of a mature mind. Uh, it's also one that uh, a mind that is willing to adapt and uh, and willing to understand. I mean, of course, you get the same kind of thing in the the right-left paradigm uh, binary. Uh, you know, I, I'm neither a rightist nor a leftist. All claims to the contrary, notwithstanding that I am allegedly a leftist. But you know, for many many years, uh, I was a staunch libertarian, and for the most part, I still maintain uh, libertarian-esque views. You know, for example, I would like to have a smaller government, and certainly, uh, I would prefer to live in a world where one could keep uh, the lion's share of one's income without uh, forking over exorbitant taxes to the government, among other things. Uh, and I'm deeply, deeply opposed to wars, uh, not the least of which because of their inherent misandry. But uh, growing up intellectually, mentally, means understanding that, and I think Barbara's assessment here is spot on, the government is an organism and it, it exists to grow. Uh, simply stating shrinking the government will do nothing. And uh, moreover, people who like to uh, revel in the left-right paradigm, and I'm not a leftist, but it'd say everything on the left is bad and everything on the right is good, uh, what has the right done for men? I mean, uh, I don't really see a great distinction between the right and the left in that uh, particular uh, regard. Uh, neither the right nor the left has uh, men's interests uh, at heart, um, and to argue that the right is somehow uh, for the, the patriarchy, well, uh, what does that even mean? Uh, we, we have the right and the left as it's manifested in, in politics, uh, as opposed to some sort of abstract philosophical principle, and uh, they're just two piles of shit, and you end up choosing the one that might smell, uh, stink a little less, but at the end of the day, they both stink equally, to my mind. Um, <clears throat> if you receive new information, you alter your opinions. Now, of course, a zealot who is possessed of an unfailing faith in some particular doctrine or principle uh, will not alter his opinions, because his opinions, uh, being a zealot, of course, comprise a, a worldview, and it, this worldview is, I would, in, in such cases of zealotry, uh, essential to his existence. The zealot cannot uh, allow new evidence to be admitted, because if that new evidence were to be admitted, the, his worldview would, shatter, uh, would, be, would crumble and shatter into a million pieces. Uh, it's probably not a desired uh, state of mind, and thus he resists all evidence, no matter how much evidence is presented. Uh, none, of the, uh, none of the arguments uh, stating that it, it, the, it's some sort of feminism, polit politicized feminism, capital F feminism, is some sort of giant uh, leftist Marxist uh, conspiracy. Do I deny that uh, there are elements of Marxism in it? No, of course I don't. But the point is, what allowed feminism to take off the ground? I mean, it, it achieved, you know, uh, supersonic speeds. Uh, and what was the mechanism that allowed it to do so? Again, the, the Marxist leftists, they're all evil and they created feminism and ruined the patriarchy. They have no explanations for that. Um, and to be perfectly honest, my impression, uh, and this is only my opinion, of many of these so-called traditionalists is that uh, they are uh, bullies. Uh, the, 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 their main issue is that they, it's the, the government, the alpha male brute that I've called it in the past, has taken over their role as the, as the, as the patriarch. They, they, they still want to lord over the household. And you know that's fine, that's your business. If you want to lord over a house and lord over your women and lord over your children, uh, by all means, do that. Um, but to argue that uh, this desire is predicated on anything else than that singular desire and that the real resentment comes from the fact that the government is outperforming men in this regard as a protector and provider, 
Uh, it's intellectually dishonest, to say the least. Uh, new information. I mean, there, there's so much statistical information out there. There, there are studies uh, for in-group in bias, just as one example. How much information do you need until you revise your opinion about things? I'm perfectly willing to concede error on my part if I am presented with enough evidence to counter an argument that I've made. Uh, I don't see it, but simply saying the left is bad uh, and you've got to go right, or uh, the patriarchy is the, is the best thing for men, uh, I, uh, there's no evidence to su su suggest it, because uh, one of my major beefs is the concept of male disposability, and a personal male, male sovereignty, in my opinion, is based on uh, getting rid of your own concept of disposability. Uh, the, 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 patri the patriarch, the patriarch of the past, was uh, held accountable for his wife's actions. He could have been punished for her misdemeanors. Uh, the, where, where is the lack of disposability there? Uh, the, I mean, never mind the fact that we're not going back to the patriarchy. So longing for something that is long gone, that was at best an, an illusion that w was maintained for uh, a short while, and and why did why did this uh, why did the illusion disintegrate? That's the question. I mean, do 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 the traditionalists and the uh, it's all Marxism and leftist conspiracists have a plausible explanation for why, as soon as no-fault divorce was on the table, the divorce rates just shot up uh, exponentially, o almost overnight, with women in the vast majority uh, initiating the divorce? Why? Well, the most common explanation I've heard is that uh, they were duped. Uh, women were duped, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's their only explanation. There, there, of course, there are varieties of that argument. They were duped, or uh, women are more susceptible to manipulation, and I agree, w agree with that. Uh, nonetheless, they have desires, and if the opportunity presented itself as it did, uh, they took advantage of that opportunity. Uh, the idea that they were coerced or forced, uh, this is, uh, well, wishful thinking at best. Uh, I think it's dangerously erroneous thinking, uh, to be perfectly honest, in, in actuality. But So when you receive new information about the world, it is in your best interest, if you want to be intellectually honest, something I brought about, talked about before, to possibly reassess your views and, and uh, opinions on certain things. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I was for many years a staunch libertarian, I still maintain those views, but ultimately I see the fallacy of uh, of clinging to some sort of rigid po political ideology with little substance and, and, and even fewer solutions to back it up. Uh, left, right, the eternal battle. Um, <clears throat> I think human beings in general have a tendency to, uh, to create uh, powerful binaries. You see this in religion, uh, you know, with, with uh, the, g the, great, the great evil uh, in the case of uh, Zoroastrianism. Uh, for example, I mean, you have the light and the dark. In Christianity and Judaism and Islam, you have uh, the deity, God, and, um, and Satan. So this uh, good, bad paradigm, it, uh, it swings uh, both ways all the time, and it seems to be something inherent to uh, human beings. I think real people who are committed to being intellectually honest can will have to see past that, because things are far more complicated than uh, one good other bad. Uh, this is the hallmark of tribalism. It's the hallmark of just something that uh, probably isn't the best side of um, the human intellect. So, new evidence. If you receive new evidence about something, be it regards to women or uh, matter, atomic particles, some atomic particles, or any, or economics, uh, I mean, I'm quite convinced that Keynes would have been very disappointed by the state of uh, state of affairs now, and I think his uh, his views would have changed accordingly. Uh, that's his point. New information, new views, changing your mind, changing your opinion, changing your assessment. Uh, that that is the principle, the primary principle of scientific inquiry. It's the primary principle of all human understanding. People who don't do that uh, will uh, fall awry of uh, zealotry. I think ultimately 
more than uh, anything else, this obsession with left bad, uh, right good is a form of zealotry. I know, I don't think women are bad. I've never used those terms, I think. To my knowledge, no, I, I simply describe their nature. What is it that women as a general principle do, and what is it that men as a general principle do? And men are free to draw those, uh, and women, draw the conc whatever conclusions they want to from that, but uh, that's not a question of good and bad, it's, it's a question of what simply is. Um, so, new information, new, uh, new ideas, revision, intellectual progress, moving forward. Uh, that is, uh, I, as I said, the hallmark of intellectual maturity, in my opinion. And no matter what the topic might be, we constantly need to revise our thoughts and, um, and opinions of things based on the possibility of new information. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I just wanted to make that statement fairly brief. And uh, everyone, take care.